Yo, 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 yo
Exactly. exactly. I can see why nobody would want to shoot your club up. Thank you, Star. Put my sperm in such a bitter woman. Dominic, tell her why you mad. I'm mad because that man called asking if he was okay to date a 17 year old. That was just out of line. Yeah, yesterday yeah, that guy was called. Yeah, awful. I don't know what he was, he was thinking. Uh, 28 years old. He said he's dating a 17 year old. He did. Yeah, it was pretty disgusting. Well, let's be he clear. said he can mold her. The play devil's advocate. 17 you, is the legal age in New York. Stop it. Tell him why you're mad. 800-585-1051. If you're upset, you need to vet. Call us right now. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Yo, it's the dog DMX. You pissed off? You <laughs> mad? Call 1-800-585-1051 on The Breakfast Club. Power 1051. Breakfast Club, bitches. Kia, tell her why you mad, mama. I'm mad because I just got to get up real early, and I just had somebody in my bed, and he was putting it down good last night. Oh, shoot. How many times Somebody. You what you mean, somebody? You know him like that? I, I know him. I mean, it's my birthday weekend. Oh, okay. me. me too. Me too. How many times you squirt? <laughs> How many times? Like three. There you go. Oh, boy. That's Did you let him hack enough. that butt? Stop it. Don't say, oh, boy. Yeah, I actually got a butt in my hair. Your butt? Can you um? <laughs> can you have him give Charlamagne some, some tips? Um, Charlamagne some tips would be to be patient. <laughs> listen, I, listen, I don't need no tip, boo. I'm fine, okay? <laughs> I'm glad. Happy birthday, boo. Have a great one, Thank mama. Thank you. You too. Hello, who's this? I'm David, man. I'm in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm trying to tell y'all while I'm mad. All right, All right you David, sound David. mad. Yo, so I'm, uh, you know I'm in Norfolk. They got the worst roads, right? Nah, it, it ain't worse than New York, but go ahead. Oh, you right. So I'm driving down 264 West, and I just bend my rim so bad, man. I'm crash. Hey, that's messed up. Damn, what you got? What kind of car you got? I'm, I'm from Houston, you know what I'm saying? So I got a uh, Park Avenue from 22. Oh, okay. so you're, you're in the military. But there's so many rim shops out there. You can rent rims. You can fix rims. You'd be good out there in Virginia. Yeah, I'm good, man. Hey, y'all have a good morning. Though. Hold up, though. Tell them where you can go to get jacked in Virginia, Envy. Nah, shut uh, up. <laughs> you, can go, you, can go, you can go anywhere out here in Norfolk, man. It's rough out here in these streets, man. They ain't got no culture out here. Well, be safe yeah, out there. Somebody with cornrows going to run up on you and take everything. <laughs> Hello, who's this? <laughs> Frank. Frank, tell them why you mad. Because, like, just, like, yeah. Um, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, start over. Why are you mad? Because my ex, yeah, my are you crying? You got to speak in a complete sentence. Let sir. him talk. Are you crying? He's going through hard times right now. Go ahead, brother. Hey, Julie. Okay, go ahead, honey. We're listening. I said, tell my man, because my ex here broke up with me, though. Why did she break up with you? Because he, he can't, can't communicate sentence. well. No, yeah, he can't communicate <laughs> He's well. He's upset. He's crying. <laughs> I, I didn't cry, though. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. You'll find somebody different, I'm sure. Yeah, from now on, y'all should just talk through text. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Frank. We appreciate you listening, man. I, I, I love this is DJ Amy. Yes. How's he? I, I met DJ Postal. Like, how's he doing? It? You related no to doubt. DJ Postal? True. Postyle? True. No He's doubt. Related I, to Postal. I, I, no. I mean, I wish. Uh, no doubt. No doubt. All right. True. Well, true. Well, tell Postal we set up what up. Okay. Yeah. That. Hey, try sign language next time, man. <laughs> you might can understand you over the phone better like that. <laughs> Stop it, man. <laughs> Tell them why you're mad. 800-585-1051. If you're upset, you need to vent. You can call us at any given time. We'll listen. Now, Yee. Yes, Envy. Birthday girl. Yes, sir. What's all we got coming up in rumors? Oh, you'll be happy to know somebody just got pardoned and released from prison. Who do you think it could be? Remy Ma. Uh, if it's Remy Ma, I'll be ecstatic. I wish it was, too, but this uh, other person was very influential in the hip-hop community. Boosie. Rumor report. <laughs> All right, that's up next. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club of Power 1051. Uh, it's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. If you're just joining us, it is Angela Yee's birthday. Yeah, absolutely. She's 20 if it's your birthday, today. make some noise. Oh. 22 years old today. 22. Happy birthday, Yee. All right. Now we got rumors coming up. Yes, we are going to be talking about Vanessa Bryant. Now, you know, she responded to what Drake had to say about her. You wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Mm -hmm. Ever wonder what she had to say? She's talking? Yes, yeah, well, she does Well, okay, speak. she put it on Instagram. Oh. oh. If that helps. See, Kobe, Kobe been caught cheating so many times. She don't have, she, he can't tell her to shut the hell up. They're clearly back together, though. All her pictures are of her and Kobe Bryant. Yeah. All right, well, we'll talk about it after this. Here's Chris Brown, Don't Judge Me. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Good morning. It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Now it's time to get into these rumors. She wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Well, what? Listen up. This just in. Oh, God. Shut up, Andy. The Rumor Report. Angela Yee. Not the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Nip that corniness in the butt. I brought up this. Shut me right up. What a tease. Now go ahead, Yee. Yes, well, if you didn't know what was going on, Envy was quoting Drake, and that was from the song Stay Scheming, Rick Ross. And he kind of insulted Kobe Bryant's wife in that song. He wasn't with me. Shoot, do it again, Envy? Nope. Do it with the helium? Nope. 
<laughs> you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Now, Vanessa Bryant did respond to this, and this is on her Instagram. She said, I heart when immature kids quote a rapper that has never been friends with Kobe and knows nothing about our relationship. Just so shows how gullible they are. I don't need to be in the gym. I'm raising our daughters, signing checks, and taking care of everything else that pertains to our home life. But thanks for your concern over an immature quote. Wow, shut him the F up. She then goes on to say, I really wish people would stop, think, and then realize that they are being sucked into someone's clear intention to monetize and gain attention off of our family's heartache. This is real life. I hold down our home life so my husband can focus on his career. It's a partnership. Since my husband isn't friends with Drake, oh, gosh. we received a text of an apology forwarded from his manager. First of all, when the hell did Instagram get all them characters? Yeah, that's a, a lot of typing. <laughs> yeah, you can't write all that on Twitter, but Yo, you can write that on Instagram. That's a lot of typing, and she's absolutely right. Ooh, I'm out of breath, and, and number two, Drake rappers don't apologize. You think Pac uh, apologized to Faith after he told Biggie, I effed your chick, you fat mother? Huh? No. It was a dope line, though, but... I, I do believe that Jay-Z did, did apologize to Nas's uh, baby mom, though, Carmen. No? Did he, did he apologize to Khalees? I don't think yeah, he so. he just did Khalees. He just did In the click record. Yeah. He don't apologize. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Cat Stacks, baby. Who she has been released. You released Cat Stacks and not Remy Ma? if you don't remember who Cat Stacks is, she's the one that was sleeping with a whole bunch of different people and putting them on blast, putting up pictures. Oh, man. Why is she relevant, please? Why? Are you, why what is the reason for it? Cats, there was a Cat Stacks phenomenon for a little bit. I could care less. She not As a matter of fact, artists. I feel like Charlamagne had to change his number at one point due to Cat Stacks. Never. <laughs> I never met the bitch. Listen, keep Cat Stacks free, Remy Ma. Wow. Well, here is her mom when she finds out news that Cat Stacks has been released and, you know, the phone call and how excited are they. Hello? Oh, my God! <laughs> she won an appeal and the order releasing her was signed a few hours ago. Many people could believe her behavior should prevent her from staying here. What do you say to them? Everybody deserves a second chance. Everybody deserves a second chance. And the same part of it is that she was a victim of sex trafficking and so on and so She's forth. She's a hoe. She should be happy that she got put in some sex yeah. trafficking. Yeah, but maybe she didn't have a dad in her life. Maybe she fell into that life. Maybe she can change. Keep cat stacks free, Boosie. This is 2013. Let's have a positive outlook on life, guys. Keep cat stacks free, Max B. <laughs> <laughs> Keep cat stacks free, C. Murder. <laughs> Give a damn about no cat stacks. Oh, and man. that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. Thank you, Angela Yee. All right, when we come back, it is Angela's birthday. If you want to call up right now and wish her a happy birthday, you can do that. We're going to open up the phone lines, 800-585-1051. We also want to know what Yee has in store for her birthday, what gifts she's gotten already. There's a lot of people texting her already. I want to know if she could read some of those private texts. Maybe some people that we don't know that text you this morning. Okay. All right, when we come back, keep it locked. Let's take a quick look at Dunkin' Donuts traffic DMs report. Too. George Washington Bridge, 5 minutes from 8095 Express. Lincoln Tunnel, 10 minutes in. Island Tunnel, 10 minutes from the Turnpike. And Tapestry Bridge looks pretty good. Baby. You know what I'm saying? It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. A lot of Frank Ocean is in this room, okay? 657. I yell out, it's cold, and somebody goes, a man goes on your nipples hard. I'm not going to say who, though. Right, hey, no, you got to say who, because everybody's assuming it's me. Why? It wasn't you? Why? Just because somebody brings up gayness, it has to be about you, Envy, okay? No, because you can't, you're not the only gay man in America. Because there's Envy. two men that are talking on the mic. Pause. Oh, 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 Let me stop two, this conversation right now. Two men talking on the Today mic. Today is right. Angela Yee's birthday. We're going to open up the phone lines. If you want to wish a happy birthday, you can. We're yes. actually looking for somebody, like, maybe deep, far back in her life. What? En Envy is pushing Angela Yee out the way to blow out the candle. <laughs> <laughs> Envy already sucked all the helium out of the balloon. He sure did. He's such a freak, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club on Power 105 when you ask us. Power 105 when it's the Breakfast Club. We have Ty on the line. Now, today is Angela Yee's birthday. Some people wanted to call and wish you happy birthday. Ty, what up? Hey, Ty. Thank you. Hey, nothing. Call and wish you happy birthday, man. I was expecting your call my birthday a few weeks ago. I didn't get it. But, of course, you well, know. Well, that's what she usually does. She usually just pounds you out <laughs> and then leaves you. I don't know. I wish. I wish she did that. She pounded out what? So, you trying to say you wish that she would put a strap on on and pound you out? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Come on, Charlamagne, with that <laughs> stuff. That's what you just said, though. You said you wish yeah. you found you out. Hey, come on. Back to Angela, man. Angela, happy birthday. God bless you. Look, come see me at Sugar Cane now. You missed a good Oh, you work at Sugar Cane now? now? Uh, My spot is right there by the Barclays uh, Center. Uh, All right, Ty. Nicole. Yes. Wish you happy birthday. Oh, is this my girl, Nicole? Happy birthday, Angelique. Where's my present? 
happy birthday is your present. Is this the lesbian? <laughs> yeah, tell her that your present is your present no, is your I'm tongue. Not. I am strictly d I love men. Envy, oh. get out of here. Oh. I actually <laughs> like Envy too. I love his voice. <laughs> Well, Emmy, what do you say to that? I'm married and happy. <laughs> there you go, Envy. <laughs> there you go, Envy. Thank you. There you go, Envy. Thank you, Nicole. Ruth, tell them why you're mad. I'm not mad. I want to try it. <laughs> Yo, time out, time out. Don't, don't pay Envy no attention. <laughs> you don't, don't pay. Do it. I'm sorry. Get it, get it together. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Mm. You, you always tell me happy birthday on the air, so I want to tell you happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's Ruth Ashley from Jamaica. Hey, Ruth Ashley. Remember she was Hello? in Jamaica with us? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll prove to hit that. Yeah, but you didn't. You brought Dan to the beach. But happy birthday. Whoa, Charlotte Whoa. Hayes, girl with him. Okay, let's put it all out there. Have a good one. <laughs> huh? Thank you, think? Ruth. <laughs> this is fun this morning. Happy birthday, Angela Yee. <laughs> woo, woo. Happy birthday, Yee. Woo, woo, woo. Now, Yee, let's do this, Yee. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday. That's right. I don't know if you're dating anybody. It seems like you're not. <laughs> you guys will all be with me tonight. Yeah, that's pretty sad. No, it's not. It's going to be fun. We're going to open up the phone lines, 800-585-1051. If you're a male or female out there, we're going to give you an opportunity to kick it to ye. Preferably female. It doesn't matter. No, that's not preferable. Guys be lame. You could be a transgender. It doesn't really matter. If you got enough You're getting game, really... It sounds like something you went in. It does very much. No, so. can I finish <laughs> what I have to say? If you got enough game to holler at ye this morning, Charlemagne and I will pay for you and ye to go on the date. Oh, Charlemagne ain't doing nothing, okay? Because Charlemagne had a rough December. Hey, look, look. But I will be here with all the moral nope. support you need. Nope. Now, if y'all are going to pay for the date, I will go out. We will pay for dinner at Anthony's oh. favorite restaurant. Listen, don't be volunteering me to pay for nothing, okay? <laughs> we will pay for the car service. And I guarantee you it's a what? restaurant with no prices on the menu. Okay. We will pay for the car service and pay for the dinner that night. <laughs> Whoever can call up right now. You got to You have this in writing? Because I didn't sign you. 585-1051. Whoever can kick the best game to ye. Let's go. Charlemagne and I will pick somebody. Now, listen, y'all kick some good game because this is a free dinner for me and you. Now, wait. Before, wait. What's, be a great what's dinner. your favorite restaurant? Calm down, Envy. We'll discuss that later. Okay. We will pay for... <laughs> Charlamagne, you with me? Nope. The only way I pay for dinner is if I smell a finger afterward and it's a little what? set of salmon and then I'd be like, oh, okay. All right. Well, All you right. Well, you can smell my finger after no problem. <laughs> <laughs> 805-85-1051. <laughs> Call up right now. Kick it to ye. We're going to get somebody to go on a date with ye. We're going to pay for it and pay for the car service. Charlamagne and I, right? No, nigga. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's the Breakfast Level Power 1051. We'll give you 30 seconds to talk your ish. You know, talk seconds. to Angela Yee. You want to go on a date with her? Well, we're going to give you 30 seconds to talk your ish. And if we approve, we're going to pay for your dinner mm -hmm. and pay for your car service. Who is we? Now, you don't know where we going to dinner, though. Per we se. is me and you. Have you heard of this restaurant called Per Se? I think we're going to check that out. You know, the sad you know, part about this, one. you know how when the DJs lie to y'all and be like, hey, 1-800-585-1051, call up right now, whatever you want to hear, we'll play. Yeah. That, that, the, the lie you telling about us paying for this dinner is worse than that lie. No, we are. We're going to pay. Come on, we can do that for her birthday. Okay, I don't know you who can this do that. Come is. On. But let's go to the phone lines. We got Sunny on the line. Sunny, good morning. Bottles. Good morning. Oh, you're a female. Nice, Sunny. Hi. You have Happy 30 birthday. seconds to kick as much game as you possibly can. Are you ready? Yes. Go, Sunny. Yeah, I want to make this the most memorable birthday for you. I want to go get a massage with you, mm. and then maybe we can go get a manicure and pedicure. Mm -hmm. And then we can just chat. And then, you know, I don't know what's going to happen after that. Okay, and Emmy, will you pay for the massage and Manny Petty? Sonny, you didn't get graphic enough for uh, me, right. Sonny. Yeah, where where do you plan to put your tongue, Sonny? Uh, I can't tell you. I just want to tell you. Oh, you guys are too okay. Uh, you, you, you hold on. And Yee's going to tell us. Yee, just like a guy. No, you hold on. After she hit it, she's going to tell us. Eddie, good morning. What up, Envy? All right, you got 30 seconds to uh, talk your ish. 10 seconds, bro. All I would do is walk up to you, Angela, and be like, I got all the truck fit. What up? <laughs> That's corny. Uh, you and, got then the would, and then I would wonder you know how what you that means? It, yeah. That means that you the one sucking the All right, all right. That, that wasn't <laughs> Last name Murphy. Huh? <laughs> Melly, good morning. Hey, what's going on, guys? You hey. got 30 seconds to holler at ye if you want me and Charlamagne to pay for your dinner, pay for your car service. Go. Hey, Angelie, what's going on over there? Hey, I'm good. How are you? 
Hey, I'm all right. My blood pressure's low. I made it to the next year. Listen, I want to go on a date with you, you and me. We make it hot. Make the right night quite crazy. Do Where are we going to go? You know? What is this so crazy? We're going to go wherever Charlemagne is taking us. That's what's okay. going on. It sounds like you next. definitely want to go somewhere where it's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, watch your mouth over there. You must, hey, Angie. You must hey, not know please. Charlemagne's taste. No bueno. Listen, I don't give a damn about Charlemagne. I want me and you. Get hot tonight. Roxy, let's go. Roxy. Roxy. Roxy moved to L.A. No, no, Roxy. That's the name of a club. I want to take you there. Oh. Okay. I've never been to the Roxy. <laughs> yeah, you said you only needed 10 seconds, but you've used about 45, sir. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, now, hey, listen. Hey, you, you, don't, don't stun on me, all right? Give me a chance. Knock it off. Oh, wow. Keep, 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 keep cool with like the Jersey Shore, You'll be swimming with the fishes. You keep messing with him, Charlotte, <laughs> man. All right. 800-585-1051. Call us right now. We'll give you 30 seconds to spit your ish. I can see why Angela is single, man. And if your ish is good enough, me and Charlemagne will pay for your dinner. Well, stop saying me and Charlemagne going to pay now, for dinner. Now, let me tell you. These are the, the options for dinner. There's this one place in Massa. There's no menu. M Massa? Yeah. There's no menu at all. And dinner is around $400 to $600 per person, I'm not, not paying including for that. tax. I'm, not, I'm definitely not paying for, not paying for that. Paying for Kiss that. my ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You better go a lot cheaper. Wow. $60,000? Ruby $60, Tuesdays. TGI, Applebee's. TGI, TGI, Outback. Red okay. Lobster. You know Chick fil A. Y'all Chick know me better than that. Listen, we'll give you appetizers. Don't go chase the waterfall. Eight. Stick to the Applebee's and Ruby Tuesdays as you use it. 800 585 It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Young Moolah. Power 105.1 is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 800-585-1051. Today is Angela Yee's birthday, all right? Now, if you call up right now, you can seduce her. You can talk your ish. You can win a date with Angela Yee. This has been straight struggle this morning. We will pay for it. Envy and Charlamagne will Charlamagne pay for it. Charlamagne ain't paying for Nobody nothing. Nobody has any game. We'll pay for the car service. If you got game no, no, and you can no, seduce her, 800-585-1051. If you want a lovely dinner at Per Se, courtesy of Charlamagne and Envy. Call us up right now. We got you. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. It's big pun. It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 800 585 1051. Now, we're taking your phone calls. Today is Angela Yee's birthday. Happy birthday, Angela Yee. Thank you, sir. Now, now. we're, we're going to give some lucky person a free dinner and a free date with Angela Yee. Now, all you got to do is seduce Angela Yee. All you got to do is talk your ish. Over the phone. And you can't call me and say, oh, wherever you want to go, whatever you want to do. You got to make the plan. Impress okay. me. Okay. And we'll pay for your dinner. We'll pay for your car service. And uh, the rest is up to you. All right? 800-585-1051. Will you pay uh, for the hotel? Oh. If it goes that far, yes. We will. I like your style, Angela. Yay. Yes, Forward thinking. All right. Well, let's go to the it's lobby. Your birthday, boo. <laughs> Yvette, go. Okay, listen. Now, obviously, you think someone, these guys are doing it for you. I'm not saying it has to be a date, but every girl needs to be around girlfriends, right? Girlfriends make you feel good. So let me take you out so I can make you feel good, baby girl. Happy birthday. How you going to make her feel good, Yvette? <laughs> box on, box on, box. Box on, box on, box. You know, a little bit of wine, good food. I mean, that's the best thing to make a girl feel good. And that that's tongue. A diamond. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't forget that tongue, boo. Raina. Oh. You got 30 seconds to seduce Angela Yee if you want me and Charlamagne to pay for this date. Charlamagne All right. <laughs> Go. All right. So, listen, I don't know about how other people be treating you, but, baby, tonight's going to be all about you. You tell me what you like, what you need, what you're looking forward to, <laughs> what anything and everything that you could possibly want. You just let me know. It's all about you, whatever you want. I need you to tell me what I want. Woo! <laughs> she likes a commanding woman. <laughs> oh, man. The masochist type. Um, will, will you stick the finger in the you-know-what? <laughs> well, Everybody you know. went in your what? Raina, you're not being more... I love redundant. how Angela Yee oh, man, when I the guess girls call. I guess would have been seducing Charlemagne or something. You know, it would have been easier, but I don't know. I never tried any females. Listen, the breeze <laughs> can blow when I'm seduced, baby. It don't take much to seduce me. I'm well, the same thing you would do with a female, you would do with Charlemagne. I got on khaki <laughs> cargo pants, and I'm seduced. I like the way the material feels on my balls. Sky, good morning. <laughs> Good morning. 30 seconds to seduce you if you want to go on this date. Angela Yee, first and foremost, I want to say happy birthday. Sweetheart. Thank you. I appreciate that. And, um, you know, a real woman knows what a real woman wants. Let Whoa. me take you out. We don't need nothing from Charlemagne. I'll come pick you up. We can make it happen. There you go. She sound, she sound like the manly type. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little, a little scared. What you, what you driving? I'm driving a BMW. Oh, okay. 2007. It may be a little old, but I don't got money like y'all. But I definitely. Well, no, it's newer than Charlemagne's car. I drive a 2004 Cadillac <laughs> Escalade, and the heat but I works can sometimes. Take care of you, 
I can take care of you and treat you like a lady should be treated. Sky, you sound like the aggressor. You the aggressor? Yeah, if she was a fish, she'd get bass. Yes, I am. I got all the spanking for all the bad girls. All right, Sky. Sky, are you Sky overweight? Or you, what's your weight? I'm actually 140 pounds. How tall are you? I'm about 5'6". Sexy, dark chocolate. That sounds kind of offensive line. Yeah, 146 no, is kind of heavy. That's yeah. not heavy at all. 146 and 156. She's 5'6". Five, 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 like five, and she's like I'm a chocolate bunny. Trust me, I look good naked. We only yeah. like chocolate bunnies at Easter time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> let's, go, let's, go, let's, go, let's go to one more. Let's go to one more. Chris. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. You got 30 seconds to kick your ish if you want us to pay for this date for you and Angela Yee. Angela, you are too beautiful and sweet to be single. When we go on this date, I'll be the luckiest guy in the world to be sitting across from you. Now, would I be lucky? Exactly. What you doing for her? Uh, definitely. Definitely. He'd be, the lucky, he'd be the most luckiest guy in the world. Why would I be lucky? Because I'm going to make you laugh. And you have a great time. Chris, do you have a job? Yes, sir. Where do you work? Engineer. Oh, yeah, he got oh, a good job. He got a good, this might be one. Where you live? You don't live with your mama, do you? No, sir. Yeah, oh, this is good. Where would you take me? I'll take you to your favorite restaurant. What's that? What's your favorite restaurant? You got to make the plan. Uh, my favorite restaurant, I love Dino BBQ. Uh, BBQ, uh, my man. That's what I'm talking about. Right I you like that spot to too. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. This is the, uh, I just want to say, women have way better game than men. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I think I'm with a man because he like BBQs. I love BBQ. Well, you go out with him. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. I'm sorry we couldn't find you a date. Yeah, that didn't really work out too well. Not at all. I'm getting better game on Twitter. Oh gosh. Well, we got rumors coming up though. Yes, and what superstar has somebody writing an embarrassing tell-all about them? And it's all about drugs and sex and love affairs and cocaine. Oh, boy. All right, well, we find out in 10 minutes. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club on Power 1051. It's Power 1051. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The time's 739. It's Angela Yee's birthday. A lot of people still calling in trying to uh, win this date with you, Yee. Yeah, it didn't work out, though. You know, I, I need people to take charge. I don't want to have to think about anything. I don't need mm -hmm. you to tell me where do you want to go, what do you want to do. I'm supposed to just be along for the ride. Yeah, well, it's not working out for you, but we got rumors coming up. Yes, and I was going to tell you about this tell-all book that someone is writing, and it has to do with uh, this guy, and you might know him. He's had, to, he's had songs with Beyonce, a lot of big, famous people. Well, it says here that he started using cocaine regularly. He has had severe erection problems. If it lasts one minute, it is a good day. And it's not Charlemagne. Oh, damn. All right. Well, we find out. <laughs> your, friends, your friends have never told you this. I lasted less than a minute, okay? We find out in seven minutes. They Keep have told locked. me that they smashed you in the car and wouldn't let you come upstairs. That is true. It's the breakfast on the What Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. So this woman, Suzanne Person, is suing Sean Paul for $80 million. Mm. And at the same time, she's also writing a book about him. She filed some documents, and she says it's called The Truth About Sean Paul's Cocaine Dealings, Lies, Murders, and Erection Problems. Now it's called Irie Jamboree, My Life in Jamaica as a Jet Set Slave with the enormous secret of a love affair with Jamaica's perhaps most well-known dancehall artist. She said he started using cocaine regularly. He has had severe erection problems. If it lasts one minute, it is a good day. She goes on to say that he had her ousted from her country and bribed to make him police to get her out of there. She also said that he drove her to try to commit suicide. suicide. She said she slit her wrist and lost more than one liter of blood. And she said, I had shown the pictures of the cuts to Sean over the Internet. I feel he should, she, he should see what he caused. He subjected her to starvation, homelessness, repeated suicide attempts, loss of ability to generate income. So. Sounds boring as hell. I used to always think Sean Paul was a Puerto Rican from the Bronx pretending to be Jamaican. <laughs> what are you talking to, about? I used to always think that. I never bought into the fact Sean Paul was really Jamaican. You should see what she looks like. She cute? She is a busty blonde from Sweden, E-Cups. I don't even know what that means. C D E. Oh, that's big. E is big. <laughs> it comes after C D. -E. <laughs> as as you heard MB just do a, right B, now. C, D, e, oh, yeah, now Charlamagne's a little interested. All right, Kim Kardashian is still going to be married to Chris Humphries when she has the baby. You think? Yeah, because they have to actually go to court to set a date for the trial on Friday, February 15th, right after Valentine's Day. <laughs> and then they're not going to be able to actually start the trial until after June to accommodate his basketball schedule. So Kim will be in court lactating, basically, is what you're saying. Yes. Right. So she's going to give birth probably around that time, and she's still going to be married when that happens, unless she agrees to the Get whole... Get 
annulments. Damn, Chris Humphreys. How you let another man get your wife pregnant, B? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay should have dropped you from the team for that stuff. Oh, stop it. <laughs> now, stop did it. anybody see Lil Wayne's new tattoo on his face? Yeah, yes. I see that stupid on ass his tattoo. forehead. He has a tattoo now on his forehead, and it says Baked, and it's the logo for Baker Skateboard. So that's him showing how much he loves skateboarding. So why not just get a skateboard on your head? Because when, when I see the word baked, I don't think skateboards. I think like it's pies, like it's baked, cookies, think the movie. fried, baked. But you know what, though, man? The thing that I want little kids to know is when they see Lil Wayne get these face tattoos, understand that Lil Wayne's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, okay? Correct. You can't do that. Okay, you can't get a face tattoo on your face. Look, Lil Wayne is never gonna have to walk into a job and fill out an application ever in his life. Correct. <laughs> and that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. Thank you, Miss Yee. Now on Charlemagne. Yes. Donkey today. Who are you giving it to? Speaking of people whose brains are baked, Cat Williams. While we were gone over the holidays, he was up to a lot of no, uh, no good, and I need How to address this. How does he have time to get arrested so much? I don't know. Okay. We need to talk about it. It's well, very time consuming. Do that at 8:04. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. I was born a donkey. It's the donkey of the day. That's pretty funny. Which Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Listen, donkey of the day for Thursday, January 3rd, goes out to Mr. Cat Williams. You know, while we were on holiday vacation, Cat Williams was up to his usual BS. If you haven't heard, Cat Williams has been arrested five times in the past three months, uh, three times all in the month of December. Sheesh. Uh, in October, he pulled a gun on Faith on Love. Then in November, he hit a man in the head with a bottle. And most recently, he allegedly. got... Allegedly. Allegedly. And most recently, <laughs> he got arrested for child endangerment after police found a stolen gun on his property. Not to mention getting into fights at his shows. He got into at an Target. Alter- yeah, he got into an altercation Damn, at a okay. club the other night with his new manager Suge Knight. Listen, Cat Williams, let me tell you what none of your friends, family, and yes men are telling you. You're going to die, Cat Williams. You're going to end up in jail a day, the route you're going. First of all, you keep pulling pistols on people, running up on people when you're about 4, 9, 100 pounds. Somebody going to try you. You're going to run up on the wrong person with that pistol and end up shooting and killing them and going to jail for the rest of your life. Oh, somebody's going to draw their pistol on you and blow your brains out. You know, the way you live in ain't pimping, pimping. In fact, you went from being a pimp to a hoe. You are a hoe for the jail system right now. This last time that he was arrested, they took his kids away from him. And when he was leaving jail, he had this to say about his uh, current legal trouble. They shot Trayvon Martin dead for looking kind of like I look. Martin oh, Luther God. King and Malcolm X ended up dead for True. telling the truth. Oh, my God. They've thrown me in jail 36 times in 36 months. And I think I, you've never seen me in a court of law. That means they're effing with me. And today, they crossed the line. Because now they took my babies. Really? You coming after my kids now? Because it was already a witch hunt. Now you want my babies? Yikes. <laughs> Listen, Kat, there's no witch hunt against you. They've thrown you in jail 36 times because you keep committing crimes. They took your kids away from you because you're not stable. You're mentally ill. Something is wrong. And everybody sees that but you. Trayvon Martin was an innocent young man, minding his business when he was gunned down by George Zimmerman because George Zimmerman stereotyped Trayvon Martin because of people like you, Cat Williams. Black men who pull pistols on people for no reason, who slap target employees for no reason, who jump in the crowd and fight people at their shows. That's why George Zimmerman stereotyped Trayvon Martin the way that he did because of criminal ass niggas like you. And the audacity, the unmitigated gall of you to mention yourself in the same breath as Malcolm X and Dr. Mm. Martin Luther King Jr.? Those guys told the truth. You're just committing crimes, period. And if you get killed, unlike Malcolm X, Martin Luther King Jr., it will be nobody's fault but your own. You don't change your ways, Cat Williams. And the words of the great Joe Clark, you'll be dead in a year, son. Give Cat Williams the biggest hee-haw. Uh-huh. Damn it. Uh-huh. And why is Suge Knight managing Cat Williams? What does Suge Knight know about comedy? He don't seem like he find nothing funny. Now, why does Cat Williams never end up in jail, though, for real? I have no idea. That's, that's the a, real that's question. A question. The, the, <laughs> no, the question is, why does he keep ending up in handcuffs and keep going to jail? Not, mm-hmm. He hasn't gotten any time yet, but why does he keep going to jail? Why does he keep getting arrested? Because uh-huh. he keeps committing crimes. That's why. Mm. Well, thank you, Charlemagne. Donkey, today we do that every morning at 8.04. Now, reality now. show that's coming out. Uh, when is that coming out, the, the new reality show? It's an oxygen special. That's right. It's Shorty Low. And what is, what's the name of the All show? All My Baby Mamas. All My Baby Mamas. He has 10 baby mamas and 11 kids. Amazing. 800 <laughs> Question. If you're dating someone who has kids, how many kids is too many kids? Is 11 kids too many kids? I would say so. Is five kids too many kids? What about two? Can is you deal with a guy with two kids and two baby mamas? Is one kid too many kids? Call us right now, 800-585-1051. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. It's Rihanna Kanye. It's Thomas. I, what I can and cannot say. You don't know how to do radio. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> my goodness. Latrell Sprewell is the guy. We're talking about Latrell Sprewell, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. 
Now, if you don't know who oh Luchel Spinrell is, he was uh, he choked his coach out, his Golden State Warriors yes, coach. Yes, P.J. Carlissimo, who's actually the coach of the Brooklyn Nets right now. That's right. He was traded to uh, the New York Knicks when he yes. played for the New York Knicks. He came, he was big for the Luchel Spinrell rims, the rims that kept spinning at that time. Remember that big phase that came out? Yes. Well, he was supposed to re-sign with the Knicks. He was I don't know if it was the Knicks. I think it was the Knicks. Nah, I don't, I don't think he was with the Knicks then. Oh, it was the Warriors? Golden State. Or, or Golden State Warriors. And they offered him... No, I think it was the Timberwolves. What well, doesn't matter. They offered him $11 million. And he said that wasn't enough for He him. said it wasn't mm -hmm. enough to feed his family. So he I left $11 million it. on the table, and he has not played in the NBA. <laughs> he has not played in the NBA then. ever again. Yes. <sighs> what a story. Anyway, we're talking about Shorty Lowe. Now, this new reality show comes out on Oxygen. It's all about his family. Ten baby mamas and his 11 children. So we open up the phone lines, 800-585-1051. How many kids is too many? Tracy, if you're dating someone who has kids, how many is too many? I think if you have four or more, that's, you know, that's way too many, especially if you're trying to be in a relationship with somebody. So you said four or more, so four is your limit. Yeah, four is my limit. You like, got four you kids, have... you ain't got time to date. Brianna, good morning. Good morning. How many kids are too many, Bri? Four. Four? Even four is too many. Four kids or four baby mamas? What if he was married and they have four kids? Okay, well, then that's different. But still, I don't even have any kids. So you're bringing four already badass kids into the relationship. How do you know they bad? They ain't got to be bad. Because yeah, and it depends on the age, too. Well, that is true, too. But still, I think four is a lot. Because even now, even nowadays, one is too many. All right. Mo, good morning. Good morning. How many kids is too many, Mo? It doesn't really matter. It just, has, it just depends on how much he can control his baby mothers. That's true. Those crazy baby mamas, one kid might be too many. So, Mo, you a day shorty low? Nah, what? and I went into no. schools with kids preferably. Well, okay. what if he had 10 baby mamas, but they were all cool and chill? Uh, I mean, if it could work out fine to each his own, but not for me. <laughs> all right, thank you. Stephanie, good morning. Good morning. How many kids is too many? Uh, the amount of kids doesn't matter. It's the baby mama drama that matters. Exactly. So if there was no baby mama drama, you wouldn't mind? That's right. So you would date Shorty Lowe? That with 10 baby mamas, you're bound to have a lot of baby mama drama, no matter how the kids act. You think? <laughs> Definitely. Thank you, Mama. And you ain't never going to have no money. 800-585-1051. If you're dating someone who has a bunch of kids, like 11, no, nah, I'm just kidding, but how many kids is too many kids? Is three too many? Is seven too many? Is five too many? Call us right now. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs> Talking about this new Shorty Low reality show. Now, Shorty All my Lowe baby's has a, mamas. Has a reality show. All my baby mamas. He got 10 baby mamas and 11 kids. Amazing. I can't wait to watch. Now, if you were dating somebody, how many kids are too many? 11 kids too many? It depends how old or the kids, five are, kids man. are. Why does it matter? He got them all ranges. He got yeah, them with yeah, some yeah. that are twenty and some that are three. Because if they're all seventeen and eighteen, cool, they growing. They be out on their own. But if they all like four and five, it's like you shouldn't have time to date me with with three and four or five years. And uh -huh. let me tell you something. It is the worst thing having to deal with somebody's baby mama. Baby mamas sometimes act a little crazy. They don't like their, you know, their child's father dating anybody else. They don't want their kid around somebody else. I'm it's a, a very touchy situation. I'm gonna be honest too. I don't like to even have sex with a woman with a lot of kids because psychologically it messes me up because I feel like it's nothing I can do to that vagina to please it or even hurt it. Uh, but stop it. What about if her son starts calling you dad? That's happened before. I know. Yeah, I know. You, you remember that? Actually, you just slipping her little jack. <laughs> <laughs> What if you read to that child and oh. then you just disappear from the woman's life? Oh, stop the music. All right, bring the music back up. Doesn't hey, that feel bad if you're dating somebody who has a kid and then you just disappear from their life? What about the kid? All right, bring the music back up. 800-585-1051. If you're dating somebody, how many kids is too many kids? Daddy, the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. It's Power 1051. It says the smoke's board a box. Oh, stop it. It's Power 1051. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. We're talking about this new reality show that's coming out on Oxygen. What's the name of it? Yee? All My Babies Mamas. That's right. It stars Shorty Lowe and all, all his baby, baby mamas. mamas. I can't wait. I love it. Exploit the ratchet this, man. Ten baby mamas, 11 kids. Yes. So if you're out there dating, fellas, ladies. And a new girlfriend who has no kids. <laughs> if you're yeah. dating someone, if you're dating someone who has kids, how many kids is too many? We have Kenny on the line. Kenny, good morning. One. One? <laughs> One. What if she's perfect, but she has one child? What if her kid is like one. six? One. One. Knock it Damn. off. All right. You date Kim Kardashian after she had that little baby. Kenya, good morning. Good morning. How um, two is too many. Two. Why? It, it, it also depends on your financial situation. Two is too many because I have a kid, too. And if we're going to be in, like, a serious relationship, our finances are not going to be right with you taking care of two other kids. Sorry. That's my that's my thoughts. Two kids. All right. Sammy, good morning. Yo, shaking, shaking. Oh boy, how many kids is too many, Sammy? 
Man, I think five kids way too much. Five? Okay. How many kids you got, Sammy? I only got one right now. I only got one, but I started to talk to this girl online. She told me she had five kids. She scared the hell out of me. Yeah, but at least she ain't lying. She could have catfished you. You no, still man. hit it, though. Desire, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good. How many kids are too many? Three. Three kids are too many? Three kids, what if they're all by the same woman? No. If, if regardless of the fact, the same woman, different woman, is too much, too much baby mama drama, regardless. Thank you, mama. So, Angela Yee. Yes, Envy. 11 kids is not too many. That is definitely too many. No. All right? You don't so want you nobody's baby mama running up on you on the club in the club. You don't want them running up on him in the club. So you, you don't want nobody's baby mama breaking your car window. You don't want none of those problems. So you wouldn't date Shorty Low? No, I definitely wouldn't. Because well, his kids is hairline. Because <laughs> it you know, Shorty, <laughs> listen, Shorty Low was actually, uh, we reached out to him yesterday to come up here and do an interview on The Breakfast Club. Yes. And his manager, Johnny, said that Shorty Low will talk about everything but the reality show. Yeah. What? what sense does that make? Yeah. Well, forget it then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you probably want to talk about his new music. Like, nah, we cool on that. Yeah, we should have said yeah. We should have said yeah. We'll see you when the reality show is. Yeah, he, he, he's going to do press when the reality show comes on. Okay. And oh, and then you know what else his manager said? That was so stupid. What? If, if we keep talking about the show, nobody's going to want to watch it. Well, oh, maybe you shouldn't goodness. have put out a trailer. Exactly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, thank you very much, Angela. You And we were going to set you up with Shorty Lowe for a date tonight for your birthday, but I guess we'll have to cancel that. Mm. All right, but we got rumors coming up. Yes, and guess who from Real Housewives of Atlanta is getting married? Fairy tales can come true. Okay, we find out in 10 minutes. It's The Breakfast Club on Power 1051. It's Power 1051. It's The Breakfast Club. It's 835. Now, you, we got rumors coming up. Yes, and I'm going to tell you, people are getting sued all over the place. Ocho Cinco is suing, and I'll tell you why. Also, Tiger is being sued, and I'll tell you what happened with him. Okay, we find out after this joint right here. It's The Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Let's go. So, Ocho Cinco is now suing two websites, and they're two of our favorites, Media Takeout and World Star Hip Hop. You'll never win, Ocho. <laughs> and that is because they posted footage of him having sex with a woman with tattoos on her. He wants unspecified damages, but he says that sex footage was without his consent, and it was stolen from him in the first place. Both websites did remove the tape last Thursday after his cease and desist letters went out, but he says the damage was already done. Well, you shouldn't have did the tape, number one, and Media Takeout and World Star Hip Hop are Teflon. Okay, yeah, you think you're the first person to sue them? Knock it off. Fred from Media Takeout is a lawyer himself. Absolutely. Shout out to Fred Moskowski or whatever his last name is. <laughs> my oh. one guy. My one shout guy. out to my guy Q. He was one of the first people to hit me and say happy birthday this morning. What up, Q? Q? All right, Nene and her ex-husband Greg Leakes from Real Housewives of Atlanta are engaged again. They split up two years ago. They were legally divorced, but now it seems like... He has settled most of his debts. He's debt-free, and Nene's doing better than ever, so they are working on getting back together and getting a spinoff show in the meantime. Good things. <laughs> Tyga is being sued, and that's by three topless video vixens. Now, he did a video called Make It Nasty earlier this month, and the three girls in the video are saying that they are suing for breach of contract. The edited video was all well and good, but then Tiger decided to put up the unedited version on his Twitter account, and you can see their nipples. They're fully exposed, and they were not what? supposed to have their nipples exposed. They were supposed to be covered. So let me get this straight. These hoes uh, decided to be in a video called Make It Nasty mm -hmm. and be naked at some point on camera and think that they nakedness would never be shown to the world. Well, I guess they figured the video was going to come out. They had an agreement that we're not going to be exposing our privates, but if it looks better for us to be like this and you edit it, you know, it's fine. If you don't want to expose your privates, the best thing to do is probably keep your clothes on. Yeah, just don't expose them at all. Right. I don't know. There's a lawsuit now. And Kanye West is boycotting the Grammys. He's upset. He was actually nominated for six Grammys, but I don't know what he's... He's just mad that My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy wasn't in the list of the 2012 Album of the Year nominees, and I, I don't really understand. They probably told him he can't bring Kim Kardashian, so he's upset. They didn't say that. that. Stop it. Like, we don't want Kim Kardashian tainting our red carpet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> and that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. All right. Thank you, Miss Yee. Now, 9 o'clock, we got the mix. If you want to hear something in today's mix, hit us up right now, 800-585-1051. Whatever you want to hear, hit us up, and uh, we'll get your request on. It's the biggest lie I told on radio. It's not. <laughs> hit me up. It's a Yee mix today for my birthday? Sure. What you going to start it with? Let's see if you know. What you want to hear? As a DJ, let's see if you know what I want to hear. What you want to hear? It's her birthday. What you it's think? It's my birthday. Envy, you don't know what kind of music I like? You don't know what some of my favorite songs are? Self would know. Self would play that 2 chain. Where's Pro Style? Yeah, Pro Style would definitely play that 2 chain. Where is Sus One when you Sus need Sus One him? would definitely play that 2 chain. birthday You know what? Song. Only Clue can fix this. There you go, yeah. 
the Breakfast Club. These people, listen, let's be clear. These people in this room have no flair for the dramatic, okay? How cute. Today is Angelique's birthday. They bring her cupcakes and her candles in. 40 seconds before we about to talk. I know, I was supposed to cut. Oh, should have brought him in when we were about to open the microphone so she could blow her candles out on air. I made a wish. Oh, God. What Am was your wish? Amateurs. I can't tell you where it won't come true. Oh, what, what did we get you? What did you get me? Yeah. Oh, uh, these are little mini cupcakes, I think. Yeah. They're very cute. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Did Charlemagne put his in yet? Nope. Then they're not from Charlemagne. Exactly. Let me see. Did I put my one in yet? <laughs> yeah, what are y'all talking about? What are you talking about, Andy? Did he put, what are you, what are you what I'm are you so confused. In the ocean, would you care to elaborate what you were talking about? Just now? Were you two driving in a car together? In the Sandusky, in the Travolta. The mix is up next. You want to hear something in the mix? Envy 800 Murphy. 585 1051 Envy at DJ Envy. <laughs> we'll get your mix. We'll get your joints on. Whoa. It's the Breakfast on 51051. You guys are asses. Yep, that's the exclusive of the day. Wale Trinidad James, flat out. Is that from his mi Wale's new mixtape? Yes. Yes, Falarin. Yes. Falarin. Yes. Falarin. I like that tune. It's a tough tune. Yeah, I like it too. Tough I'll tell you a right funny there. Wale story. My friend said that she was in D.C. Mm -hmm. And her little brother went up to Wale because he loves Wale. He was at a restaurant. Wale was about to leave. The whole time he was plotting, like, yo, I'm going to go and ask him for a picture. He's like 12. Mm -hmm. He goes over to Wale. She said, Wale turned around, didn't say a word, but he posed for the picture and then just turned around and left. Mm. At least he took the picture. I know, that's, that's, at least he took it. The picture is mad funny. You guys see it because he looked like he got an attitude. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> but he did it. Okay. And her little brother was very happy. He looks, her little brother looks so happy. Oh, while they looks, looks like. Yeah, right. Mm. Damn it. When I, when, when I first listened to that Falara mixtape and I saw the record with Trinidad James, my, my mentality was, I wonder how whack Trinidad James' verse is going to be. But What'd you think? It's, it's actually a I, I like Wale's new mixtape. It was a hype. Versus I like the all right, now, um, if you want to hit up the website, you can check out our best interviews of 2012. Also, you can check out Charlemagne's inappropriate moments, like he had some today. <laughs> we will definitely put it online. Listen, I'm consistent. Yeah, we know that. Just some words that you just can't say, Charlemagne. I know. No, you don't. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I scored a 90 on my uh, inappropriate test. What's the name of that test? You must have cheated. I got 100. But whatever the name of that it's test is. It's not was. an inappropriate test. What's That's not what it's called. <laughs> Because then you would have scored 100. What's it called? <laughs> I forgot. Whatever it's called. It's a decency test. Yeah, decency. Decency. And you know what? You, you should have scored a 40 on that. Scored but you would have scored a 100 if it wasn't an appropriate test. scored a 90, son. I thought it was a 95. 95. I only missed one question. No. No doubt. I ain't even study, B. <laughs> <laughs> we could tell. You must have just guessed because you felt. Oh, my goodness. Right. All right. Cherry Martinez is up next. Happy birthday to you, Miss Angela Yee. Yes. Enjoy your night. I, I intend to. And Charlamagne, leave us on a positive note. Listen, you ever notice people talk the most about the thing they claim not to care about? If you truly don't care about something, show us by not talking about it. The end. All right. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105. How can I show you if I'm not talking about it? Breakfast Club, bitches! <laughs>